It is a story. It is a story of perseverance. The spirit of uh, being Apache. Even when all odds seem to be against you, you never, ever give up. If nothing else, you go down fighting. This is what my grandfather said. Never give up, even against all odds. It was mid-morning in a dry canyon that coyote was trotting up on the edge. He scoured the landscape, looking all about for any sign of food, any snacks, tidbits of any kind. His stomach had been empty for days upon days. Anything, he said, anything will do. And he scoured about the landscape, looking for anything to eat. Suddenly his eyes, far below in the canyon, saw movement. Something very small. Maybe it's larger when I get closer, he said. But it's something. Coyote, in his cunning ways, crawled down the cliff, undetected so slowly, quietly. Slowly he stuck up on that little thing, crawling in the arroyo. He snuck up from bush to bush until suddenly, suddenly, he was about to pounce on that little thing. He said, it's just a little bug. It's an insect. Oh, but my stomach, it needs anything. I will eat it anyway. So the coyote began to jump in midair. The little bug caught the shadow of coyote ready to pounce on him. Quickly. A little stink bug. He put his head to the ground and tilted his rear end up and he said, shh, stop. Coyote, startled, stop in midair. What? He said, what? Shh. His head to the ground and his rear end pointed up the stink bug, the shiny little black insect that crawls on a desert floor. He said, shh. Yeah. Oh no. Listen, what? Oh no, they're running off. They're gonna go hide themselves. Coyote, my brother, I'm glad you came. I need to jump on your shoulders. You need to run me home quickly. Why, said the coyote, why? I'm ready to eat you. There's no time for that, said the stink bug. Put me on your shoulder. Put him on his shoulder, confused. Now run this way, my home is this way. I will help you. Why, what's going to happen, said riding on his shoulder. He began to whisper into the coyote's ear. He said, I heard by the underground people that a great wind is going to come upon this canyon and we have no time to hide anywhere. The wind will be so strong it'll send boulders, rocks flying through the air. It'll kill everything in sight. Hurry, run with me. We have only a few moments to spare, coyote. Hurry, run fast. And he grabbed onto the coyote's fur and the coyote was one with the wind. Coyote ran so hard. They got to the house of the stink bug. He says, put me down behind the cliff there. There's a big basket that was given to me as a gift. There's a rope, tie a rope around the end. And there's a, a branch that has a big, big trunk that holds it secure to the ground. It hangs over the ledge. Tie the rope to the neck of the basket. There's a lid there but tie the other end of the rope to the trunk of the tree and then throw the basket over the ledge onto the branch. Grab the basket and crawl in. I'll put the lid on you. That is the only way you'll be saved because the basket, it'll ricochet the rocks off of you. Oh, thank you, stink bug. He says, thank you. Thank you for saving me. And here I was going to eat you. Oh, brother, I care for you so much, Coyote. Hurry! Shh. 
coyote looked around at Stink Bug again, blew into the coyote's ear. Shh, I hear the wind. Oh no. Stink Bug had some pebbles. He threw them into the coyote's ear. I hear pebbles. I bet they're flying in the air already. Hurry, hurry, said the Stink Bug. Coyote went into the basket. He lowered himself, put the lid on. Stink Bug jumped up and tied the lid shut. And then he told the coyote to shimmy over the edge. And with a big stick, the stink bug pushed him over and began to swing. And the coyote was in the basket swinging. Stink bug kept pushing him with a stick. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'm going to be so grateful when you let me out of this basket when the storm passes. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay, brother. I care about you so much. I'm going to save you first before I run to safety. And then he threw rocks at the basket. Oh, I feel the storm coming already. I hear rocks hitting the basket. The basket kept swinging further and further out. As soon as the basket went clear over the edge, from behind the shiny shell, he drew out his hunting knife, the stink bug. And as soon as the basket took one last swing over the ledge, he cut that rope and down, down, into the river far below when the basket splash. As Stink Bug watched from the ledge, he saw the basket floating downstream out of sight. And he smiled. And he thinks he's cunning, he says. That day, Stink Bug lived one more day. Thank you very much.